So hot. That's, that's why I thought when I walked outside today. It's it's hot and sunny uh, all the way through this weekend. I think maybe tomorrow might be the hottest day left of the next several days, but you know, just maybe a degree or so hotter in some areas tomorrow. Then it comes back down a couple degrees Sunday and maybe a couple more degrees by Monday. But really not any big changes the next few days. It's still hot all over. A lot of places near 100 degrees. I think even maybe as far east in the valley as uh, maybe about western Cameron County. Maybe Harlingen could be close to touching 100 tomorrow, at least in the upper 90s. So uh, the farther west you go, the hotter it will be tomorrow. Tropical weather is more interesting for next week. If you're watching yesterday, we're talking about disturbance that potentially could try to come together in a couple days and move its way into the Gulf. And uh, from there, it's very debatable if it does form, whether it will be close enough to give us any rain chances next week. But I think it, uh, it does have a chance to cool it off a little bit here at least. But you know, don't expect any big cool downs. Uh, temperatures right across the valley are, are actually coming down a little bit. It was hotter last hour in McAllen, but now it's down to a cooler 102. Uh, 102 in Edinburgh, 109 uh, Rio Grande City and 95 in Port Isabel. So lower valley locations, mostly in the mid to upper 90s. But it feels like with the humidity above 100 everywhere, even about 112 in McAllen, 108 in Raymondville and Harlingen. 118 is the apparent temperature of the heat index uh, with the effects of the humidity if you're standing in the shade. So as always, you know, if you're outdoors, uh, try to stay cool on these hot afternoons. The heat index up around 105 to 115 in the next couple of days. You don't want us to come to any heat related health problems. Hottest part of the day, roughly about 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. each day. This evening, if you're going to be out still in the 90s at 7 p.m., but then falling through the 80s with mostly clear skies, there might be some patchy clouds late at night, say around midnight or later, but most of the evening is looking clear. Future track shows mainly clear skies this evening. You don't see much on there all the way through 11 p.m. Late tonight, again, maybe some patchy clouds around, but tomorrow looks like a day when it will be mainly just sunshine all day. Very few clouds, lots of blue sky, lots of heat. Temperatures well into the upper 90s in most areas, some places in the hundreds again. And by the time we get to Sunday, not a big difference. The atmosphere may not be quite as hot overall, and it may allow temperatures to be, you know, one or two degrees cooler or so. But Sunday for Father's Day, it looks like a hot day too. And even Monday, maybe some patchy clouds in the morning, but still a mostly sunny and hot day out there. Now in the tropics, we have uh, officially, officially no disturbance in the Caribbean yet, but there are a flare up with some showers there. There's a tropical wave moving westward through the Caribbean, but kind of this area closer to the Yucatan Peninsula, the Western Caribbean could start to come to life more by later this weekend. But again, officially nothing's there, but the Hurricane Center gives kind of this general area, 10% chance to develop into something within the next two days and about a 60% chance within the next five days. Uh, by then, whatever is here trying to form might be moving into the southern Gulf. So something we'll have to watch again. No threat of anything this weekend or early next week coming closer to us. But you see all the way through Tuesday, this is the European model, which has almost no rain here. And then after that, depending on if anything does form in the track of it, some of the models try to throw some moisture up to the north but it could at least bring a little rain in. The European model not showing a lot of rain, only showing about generally an inch or less of rain next week. But of course, that is always subject to change. So the first one five seven day forecast highs about 101 tomorrow and then a slightly cooler, maybe 99 for Father's Day, but a little breeze each day and lots of sunshine. Monday and Tuesday, we could say maybe it gets a, deg a degree or two cooler, but after that, we have to kind of watch the tropics. Again, the tropical disturbance could move into the Gulf. And if it does move westward, it could be close enough for some rain chances next week. But uh, nothing right now is showing a big storm spinning up and coming directly our way. So don't get too concerned yet. But it's always something to watch. It's kind of hard to track something that's not there. Uh, but most of the computers say that maybe some moisture could come our way. Maybe. <laughs> there's, maybe. there's a lot of ifs and buts and maybes in this forecast. All right. But until then, happy Father's Day to Dad because he gets a two degree cool down <laughs> yes, on his that's day. That's all we can do for him. This <laughs> that's day. all. Two degrees. Okay. Well, we'll throw an extra burger on the barbecue for him. Thank you.